the low points. Welcome, good day and hello to silent time, the opportunity to think on what is really important in life. What have been your low points in life so far? What have been the negative experiences, the lows when you reached rock bottom? The disciples have experienced such low points after Jesus had been brought to the cross after he had been crucified and raised again from the dead. Yes, there were great events and there was big joy and the victory has been won. Jesus has won the victory over death and over the enemy, over sin, over hell. But then followed silent times. There was not much. There was nothing. Suddenly everything is quiet. So there was nothing going on and they also feel a bit lonely. So the fishermen, they went back to their job. And sure enough, it must have been dark in their hearts and the night. And it was even more dark when in that night they did not catch anything. They had a lot of experience. They often went, I had gone out on that lake. But in that night, again and again, they throw out their net in vain, no fish, nothing caught. That is quite bitter and almost desperate situation. Back in the old shop, but even that is nothing. It is like remaining without blessing, like in a night without any light. Peter might have thought. Maybe he had remembered the old days, the good times, the great times, when he had confessed to Jesus, you are Christ, you are the son of the living God. And Jesus had called him the rock. But now Peter might think, what kind of rock am I? That is the low points to be locked out, not in the kingdom of God, lonely and even the earthly things, they do not work as we want them to work. Not only Peter knows that, probably we all know such low points. But in that situation it says, Jesus stood at the river, stood at the lake, at the shore, and he knew them. He knows everything. He knows what situation we go through. John 21 verses 3 and 4. Simon Peter said to the others, I'm going out fishing. We will come with you, they told him. So they went out in a boat, but all that night they did not catch a thing. As the sun was rising, Jesus stood at the water's edge, but the disciples did not see him yet. Jesus is there with his help. He can still do the same great things. He already has done great things, and he can do the same in whatever situation we are. He is there. He is present. He always remains with us, no matter what we have done, where we have gone. And that is gives us life. He does not give up on us. He always wants the best for us. And he wants also that we also care in the same way for others. Lord, we thank you for your care. You never give up on us. Even in the low points, when we feel so bad, when we feel lonely or fall in despair, when the problems seem to overwhelm and nothing seems to work, you are still there, even when we do not see you yet. Thank you for your presence. Thank you for your forgiveness, for your love, for your help. Show us where we shall be a blessing to others as well. Praise be to you forever. Amen.